Welcome. Today I find myself in St. John, New Brunswick, and we'll also have a look at Halifax, Nova Scotia, both in northeastern Canada. And in this image that I've seen on Google Earth, we can really see what looks like several civilizations and much repurposed brick three or four different types of brick and very interesting how many hands have these buildings passed through how many times have they been rebuilt and we're going to be looking at some signs of these older civilizations including Tartarians in the far north reaches of North America. And in today's little episode we're going to look at an old city and perhaps a few of them. And this is the area we'll be focusing on, these northern regions. Now here we can see St. John St. John, right here, way up here, and looking much different than it does in these older photos, and just tucked away up here, way up here. Uh, the city is called St. Jean, and it's a view from Terra Nova. In 1894 to 1895. And here we see something else. A really, really remarkable build out and cathedrals and everything we expect and see of the old world. And I'm really impressed. And here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, in about 1891, the time of these photos. We see a population of 71,000. And in St. John, 1891, we have a population of 24,000. And it should be worth noting that Halifax, Nova Scotia was also the subject of a excellent Conspiracy R Us video in which he showed the great disaster and explosion in Halifax in 1917. And here we have a little look. And the story that they give us was that a ship pulled into the harbor and blew up and pretty much wiped out a great chunk of this city, injuring 9,000 people and killing, I think, a few thousand and really strange, and they say it was the greatest artificial explosion pre-atomic bomb, and very interesting. It was very difficult to come across, still took a little digging in the Gallicas, and any of you who have used Gallica know that it's very slow to load, but very much worth the effort. And this is about as much as I seem to be able to zoom in in 1894. And yet, clearly, there was a thriving people here. And this is a first for me. Now, this one is again St. Jean. And the port, the south port... Let's see, again, just not this one cathedral up here, but another one over here with a spire, another one over here, and, you know, for this time period, a lot of what looks to be excavation work, roads, and really just seeming super advanced for this part of the world. Very beautiful city. And here are some residents. And compared to many of my last videos, these people absolutely seem genuine. 
to be an actual residence of this city. And looking like very nice people. Hard working. This man has a patch. Maybe from fishing. And now here's a little gander at Halifax. The Halifax port in 1893. June 6th. And this would have been a little postcard here. Sold for 50 cents. And let's have a little look here. 1893. Exactly what we would expect. And here we have a building looking as European as any. And just perfectly beautiful. And this is just the port. This is just the very edge. Here if we look in the background we see a beautiful towering building with a clock. And all sorts of towers. What are all these towers? These aren't ships. This is facing inland. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at this back here. So really a bustling metropolis in 1893. Looking as beautiful as anything. And at least looking 50 years old really looking a hundred years old but let's be conservative here again Halifax 1893 same day same beautiful building we were seeing from this vantage point from the sea and really a beautiful little city and even on the other side of the water here what appears to be build out as well and here in Halifax uh, I believe a navy ship and a beautiful building in the background here very large very very large one two three four five five large tall stories maybe a sixth and here we have a post office in Halifax, 1893. And I wish I had a picture of my post office to share with you in comparison. And again, I ask, you know, what need to have three stories for a post office? Really seeming pretty obvious. And this building next to it, really beautiful as well. And a beautiful little park. Pretty young trees here, 1893. So these trees have just been planted. Very, very young landscaping. And then we do see some larger trees. And these ships are just really beautiful. I mean, the types of ships we were told were used in the old world. Like a Christopher Columbus type ship. And here, you know, this is New Brunswick, a view of the harbor in Halifax, 1893, and same thing, just completely packed city. Here are cathedrals and very smoggy. Here we do even see some kind of industry. Very smogged out, perhaps combined with humidity from the ocean, but really beautiful. And here's a look at a bridge, it seems. Same year, St. John, New Brunswick. And 1893, we seem to have power. And it looks like a train bridge. And then another bridge. I'm not really sure what we're seeing here. Has this partially collapsed? It sure looks like it. And yet, this is some pretty serious infrastructure here for these northern regions. A lot of action. Suspension type bridge. But really seems pretty sketchy. Like it sustained some damage. 
And here's another view, again in these northern regions, very remarkable. And it looks like two different types of... Here we have a brick, and here what appears to be some sort of a stone, or a larger brick, larger than this one. Very impressive. And same year, 1893. St. John, New Brunswick, and really pretty advanced. You know, we see a blend of what appears to be an old world. Not sure what we're seeing up here. But yes, truly an old world. And then moving in of the new inhabitants. And we see more of this kind of Wild West building style. At least I always associate it with the Wild West. You know, just these box, wooden boxes packed in next to each other, thrown up, you know, overnight. But when I see things like this, and this, and the kind of stonework, the more permanent seeming stonework. And so we ha have a combination here of the old world and the new. Lots of mud, the use of boards, and here New Brunswick, 1893. St. John, you know I'm not really sure what they're calling this. Obviously some kind of parliamentary building or government facility, and it doesn't matter what we call it now because it was not that you know we might call it a post office and people would believe that they wouldn't even question that and here we go 1893 nobody really around a pile of dirt really strange I mean you know Looks like another row of windows below ground level here. And so clearly the old world, you know, existing in the high north. I mean, really just looking as futuristic as could be. Not even hiding it. You know, the first things that we would do is remove these kind of things. And yet in this photograph in the far north, Nobody had gotten to that yet before a photograph was snapped. And here as well, look at this beautiful antiquitech on top of a beautiful building that people really should not need and should not be able to afford. And look at this up here with this ball and tons of antenna coming off of it. This is just an excellent example of antiquitech at its finest and so many purposes could exist for these devices and we're just beginning to scratch the surface in the understanding of them and look at the size of the door look at these people here and look at the size of the door one is open and the left side of the door is closed. Just a monster. I mean, what is this? Uh, 25 feet, maybe? Just beautiful that we're seeing this in the northern region of the world, where there really should not be very much action. And here is Greenland. The biggest city in Greenland, as I have just discovered, is a little town called Nook. And Nook seems to have about 17,000 residents. And really interesting little story behind it, but we're not going to get into that today. Yeah, biggest city in Greenland, Nook. So that's it for today. I do hope you enjoyed, and have a blessed day.
please like, comment, and subscribe.